Hello guys and welcome to the channel. This is Viparul. Okay, by now you have seen the fights against champions, bounties, and you have got the summary idea about the build. But I want to start uh, like a build discussion to explain how I go about this build or um, what's the point of having specific things like bits or skills or how it's actually work. You've seen how the fight goes, but let me ex further explain or elaborate. For a start, I want to tell you what the choice of the bits means. For a start, I'm using the Morello because it's a bear that can handle too much damage in any situation. It can put a poison field and we have a trait that on every poison that we put an enemy we need life cycle. The skill itself doesn't work. The bit but the poison, not you. But every projectile through that could have a chance to inflict poison. And that way you can have little bit of higher healing. Um, and when you merge with your bit, you would have damage through this skill and you would have access to Defy Bane. On 40 second cooldown, 3 seconds of take no damage effect. No bar damage you can take from this. You can with like extremely hard opponents, you can actually go with um, the black bear because it would have extra stun break and removal of impending movement conditions with another 4 seconds of um, techno damage effect, so you would have 2 and 10 second weakness that would make the damage you take is technically less of radius 600 and 5 targets so that's kind of an overkill but you lose a lot of damage and this build supposed to be run all the time everywhere like this bve you can do anything with it solo uh, killing normal mobs uh, doing hearts anything that's why i go with the morello because you can simply merge and you have the higher condition damage and this skill uh, 200 condition damage and 100 precision unlike the black bear most of the time you would see me actually use Jacaranda on uh, fighting champs because access to immobilize is technically CC so I can break defense bar easier and she's tanky bit can heal herself and have really good damage and on merging with it you would have access to skills of healing with condition removal re regeneration and resistance so this is the bits I use if you fight on water shark give you significant damage uh, to your condition, skills, amazing, and he's tanky. But this one is, is tanky to the level it's kind of broken. And I like it, I'm not complaining, it's uh, almost a BVE thing. But give you 10 second protection and healing and uh, techno damage effect. 10 second protection, if you used more stance before, those 10 seconds became 16. So, and you heal for every second of protection by 259. So, where, how this build is actually good or what make it good against champion or anything else? For a start, how do I go? Uh, how do I go um, to make a build like this? Like uh, a build can sustain anything. For a start, in Guild Wars, you have to avoid damage. How to do that either by being in range like you can't be hit unless your opponent do range too some mobs would use rifle or whatever now they can hit you the other way is to make that damage less through protection for example or effects like dolly stance or techno damage like completely nullified but that's another subject second avoiding damage completely like with evades on short both three like with dodges in general, like take no damage, uh, like if you play in Thief, you would have access to many dodges like Daredevil Staff. The last thing is to sustain the damage, like whenever you take damage, you can still heal enough that you don't die. The last one is really difficult to have in a game like Guild Wars. I've played games before had this, that you can heal maybe more than the mobs can do, even bosses. But Girls World doesn't have that. The damage bosses can do or champs are significant. It's, it's so hard to have it. Like, 
maybe on rebar but that's another build video hopefully but on ranger that's technically not possible not even on droid you would be healing all the time and it's pointless so how do you do that you would have enough health or healing to sustain the damage you take while kiting so you have a room for mistake room for some damage you can heal a lot but you don't stand and take that damage so that's the general idea of how making a build like this second condition can make this much possible because in condition you put your um, attributes or states in condition damage and condition duration just anything else can be for defense but if you blame power you would need uh, power precision ferocity and you still need um hmm, wait a sec. and you would still need to have defense and that's really hard how to put vitality toughness uh, power precision ferocity and have all this if i want more healing i can simply put healing like i have the gear for what there's a world actually See, I could change to some healing actually, and would still be on almost the same power. So you can get too much tanky, higher health, higher toughness, higher armor, everything. And condition is easy to deliver as a system. Your damage is not how much you can put, it's actually also part of the delivery system. Look to the condition, you would have sharpened stone, bam, this skill, and you already applied 5 few other auto attacks and you already have like 26k plus what you damage you did from this like 40k and he didn't really as a mob didn't dodge it or avoid it the damage is huge on condition so i think condition is superior to power in bve uh, in solo content at least like people can give you might and uh, damage modifiers and a lot of things in group fights so power can sometimes be better except that there's a lot of moves that will take less damage but in condition it's only in best of fire that there's moves remove condition or um, do barrier or stuff like this or give them self resistance and extremely rare so i think condition is kind of superior and more comfortable to play especially if you're kind of noob so where do i get the healing in this build first the protection healing more stance would give you on activation uh, five seconds of protection yeah i guess it's five and every second would heal you every dodge in combat would give you um two seconds of protection and every second would heal you but if you have more stands those two seconds is actually three and this skill heal you for 8k plus and so uh, merging with jacaranda would heal for those two skills with access to regeneration and every time you inflict poison, you life siphon. That's why we take this trait. If you're in melee range, you have a lot of poison. If you're um, in range, you would have only this skill, but it pierces, so it can give you, like, um, in best case scenario, like, um, I don't know about more than K and a half, or some up to 2K in a perfect world. Your stun break, this skill was stability, and merging with your bit was embedding movement uh, removal. That's great for BVE when they change this skill because now you can stun break and kite immediately. And you remove condition on one, and this skill remove two, this skill remove four, this skill remove two. Uh, you're not always using this in the first fight, uh, the bug was still there, so I was using uh, strength of the back. But if you against a uh, champ that have a lot of CC, you would need stability, that would be better. If you use it after more stands, the stability would be too long, like 6, 13 seconds. And that's great. With this skill too, you would have a lot of stability. So that would be better, because uh, if they are moving too much, this skill will not really do damage in Tangle. So you can change between them. But uh, for the most case, I use uh, in Tangle. Uh, I think uh, also that Soul Beast condition is superior to every other ranger at this point, in BVE at least. Like other rangers honestly doesn't have this much place. It's not like they are unplayable, don't get me wrong. But he is much powerful, can revive its bit on 10 second cooldown, instantly revives a bit. 
and extra skills to use uh, techno damage, heal, whatever. And it have technically higher damage because um, like this skill give you 5% condition damage more. And when you merge with your bit, you do this condition. Like this skill give immobilize and curble if you're flanking, like from the side or the back. And the bleed is done by your bit. And it's not this number, not this 4K. That's not really. It's actually um, the bit use its own condition damage, so it's extremely diminished. But when you're merging with your bit, you get this buff. On dagger, you get the poison buff. That your bit bot poison? No, now you do it. And that make you have more damage. And 200 condition damage on merging with bit, that's a lot. So it is superior in every way, honestly. Like, if you have best of fire, it doesn't make sense to go core or droid. This is the one. And it can support people through stances. That's why it exists in the um, older video. I think I was running uh, higher damage, but I'm already at 100%, so um, increased duration doesn't really make sense. This much, it doesn't really matter to a condition player. The stunts uh, support help other people and give you a longer duration, especially for the dolly stunts that's already reducing damage on you. So I think it's better, much better now that I use this. And I still take muddy terrain to um, be my constant CC uh, skill. Because when you boot it, it keep booting slow every like two seconds. And that keep the defiance bar going down and down with the immobilize. And those two skills, short bow, jacaranda and uh, entangle. You get the idea. I also forgot I use uh, that um, tropical paperman cake that food I use it on everything technically everything like every build every class I think it's too much to leave the sustain of health 85 health per second and it's part of um, your sustain and the condition one uh, quality tuning crystal from all this world because it's the only food that work on vitality and toughness not condition expertise or precision and expertise, I guess uh, the food was uh, the utility was changed in BVE, so I use uh, the world versus world one. So that's it for the build, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and um, you understand it, how it works. Uh, the fights will explain a lot about the uh, how I use this build. You would see it that most of the time you're only on short bone, you don't go melee unless you actually can. Uh, and the ranger. Technically one of the best classes to solo counting because it has a bit and the bit would take the damage for you So you wouldn't have to kite and run and heal all the time uh, Like I explained at the start how you would go about a build uh, to solo content Healing or sustaining or um, Range that you avoid the damage completely, but I think bits make the most part of it like minion mancer So I hope you like this build and give it some bug and subscribe. See you.